welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button to see more home holiday event and DIY decor today I'm gonna show you how to make a floral balloon runner for your wedding sweetheart table or for any fun and elegant celebration here we go my floral balloon runner which I'm very excited to make by the way I see these on Pinterest all the time and you know what I said let's go ahead and make one with Dollar Tree items except for let me explain I wanted to explain a few things before I got started Dollar Tree only have 12 inch balloons and to make this look you are going to need at least three balloon sizes I'm using 12 inch 9 inch and 5 inch but what you can do is to save some money, you can buy the 12 inch balloons from Dollar Tree and use that for your large and medium balloon. And to make your small balloon, you're gonna have to go ahead and go buy some uh, elsewhere that makes five inch balloons like Party City. And you should at least use three to four different colors. Also, I got this confetti <laughs> uh, from Party City. But if you don't want to buy it already made and want to save two bucks because this was $2.99, you can go to Dollar Tree and buy this gift ribbon in gold and just cut it up with your scissors. And there you have confetti. But since I don't want to spend the time and I want to be like a cooking show and have it ready, here we go. Or I could have done it the day before, but I didn't have time. So I'm going to use this, but here's your alternative. And I have my balloon buddy, which I love. I love this thing. I mean, lifesaver. You don't have to glow, you don't have to do any of that. $19.99 at Party City. I had it for quite some time and it has not let me down. All right, let's get started. The length of your runner is totally up to you and totally up to the size of the table you're going to be using. I'm going to be using the measurements of a sweetheart table, which is usually 48 inches wide or four feet wide, which is the same thing. And I want my runner to be eight feet wide or 96 feet wide, same thing, uh, which is twice the size of the table. And each of these liners are five feet wide, which is 60 inches wide, same thing. <laughs> so that means that I only need three more feet from this one. So I'm going to cut, uh, or I'm going to measure cut and then glue together. Now I have eight feet of liner to make my runner. Let's start with the fun part, the balloon part, or I should say the most time consuming part. Um, I was just being sarcastic because it, it can be a lot of work, but if you have a game plan, it doesn't have to be that bad. I'm gonna show you my game plan and you can feel free to follow it or you can figure it out as you go. My game plan is to start from darkest to lightest. So I'm going to start with my burgundy, which is actually a dark red. It's like a deep dark red. And when you blow it up, it looks burgundy. So burgundy it is. So burgundy, dark pink, pink and white. And for my whites, I bought these regular white balloons from Dollar Tree and I also bought these transparent 9 inch balloons from Party City and I'm going to be adding some gold confetti to them for a pop of gold because my table setting is going to have gold so that's going to make it look extra special. Then I'm going to divide how I'm going to place my balloons and I'm going to do 2 feet of the burgundy, then 2 feet of the darker pink and then two feet of the lighter pink, and then towards the end, I'm going to just mix them all up. Okay, let's blow these balloons up. <laughs> I'm going to measure and mark two feet right here, so I know when to stop blowing up the balloons for this area. So I'm going to mark it really quick. So this is going to be the area where your small, medium, and large burgundy balloons are going to go. And when I say large, I mean big enough for you to be able to see your guests. 
and right here on your two feet mark you are kind of going to blend both colors so it can have a nice flow so I'm almost on my two feet mark so I'm going to start blending the colors to mark two feet with my pinks. I'm almost at my two feet mark for my darker pink so I'm going to start blending my lighter pink. Right now I am at my two feet mark for the lighter pink so all I have left is just this area where I'm going to blend all the colors and I'm going to add a little bit of the white. These are all the balloons that have blown up for now. You can't see the whole thing because it doesn't fit on the screen, but it's looking pretty good. I still have to make the transparent balloons with the confetti, but before that, I'm going to go ahead and start with my flowers. I'm going to use three different tones of flowers, and these are all dahlias. I would have preferred to have used different textures and different shapes and sizes, but this is all they had at Dollar Tree as far as colors they will flow together perfectly. So I'm going to use all dahlias. I'm also going to use some greenery. And if you want, you can use the greenery of the leaves from the flower as well. And I'm going to start with the greenery. So I added the greenery right here to the bottom and now I'm going to add the flowers. I just pulled them off the stem and I'm going to glue them on around the balloons and at the bottom where the greenery is. Uh, my game plan right now is to add the lighter uh, flowers on the darker balloons and in between and then the darker ones to the lighter balloons. But that doesn't mean that I'm not going to mix it up because I will. For now, that's just how I'm going to start. So here's what I have so far. And one thing for sure that you should do before gluing your flowers is place them over the balloons first to make sure that they are wherever you want them to be and that they look good. And one thing that I found was that with the same texture, the best thing that you can do is group them together um, and they look much better, at least in two, especially with the lighter ones. And as you see, the um, burgundy ones, I just push them up together and they look wonderful. Actually, the burgundy is making this whole look look amazing. All right, let's continue. Now I'm going to add more greenery to the arrangement, especially this bottom part down here. And I'm also going to place it in between flowers. And don't be afraid to cut off some of the liner if you need to. Now I'm going to add gold confetti to my transparent balloon. This is going to add a pop of color and a sparkle to the whole arrangement and to the whole setup. It's going to make everything look even more beautiful. Alright guys, this is it. This is absolutely gorgeous. I more than love it and I am very, very pleased with it. I think it's amazing. <laughs> As you can see, I added more flowers to the train and I added more greenery to the side down there and I added more greenery in between flowers. Also, I added the transparent balloons with the gold confetti and it gives it a pop. I know that you can't see it right now because you're too far, but I'm gonna give you a close up in a bit. All right guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Also visit the tyroforestproject.com for items that you can purchase that you see in my projects. All right, until next time, bye.